What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We have quite a few stipulations in the queue. We have... Uh, upheaval Wildfire, Stacks deck, can't play equipment or anything that targets, but that's a Vili. Vili said he wanted to be here for that one. And then any card that has a dragon, we have to draft. You get one veto per pack. Uh, which is Unease Joker, which who is here now. Oh, we can do the dragons. My problem is like what I've what I've been doing recently is I will start the draft, see what we open, and then if we open something, we can go in that direction. But like I don't want to be like we're gonna do an upheaval wildfire draft, and then you get to pack three and you're like, well, we haven't seen any upheavals or wildfires yet, and uh, it's both a waste of a draft, and it wouldn't count for the stipulation. So it's just kind of like I have been I have been uh, enjoying making sure that uh, there's at least some amount of mock sapphires in your pack that you can very very easily take so we're just going to take the mock sapphire there is a thundermaw hellkite which means that could table could be on par for that we're gonna we're gonna take this and see what happens we're gonna stay open blight steel colossus any dragons there are no dragons in here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also no real stacks picks no real wildfire upheaval picks either so, could just do dragons. And then we'll just take all the dragons. If they're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not. Dragons are mostly red and black and blue. Like the Dark Slick Shores. Blightsteel doesn't target, that's true. Um, let's take Hostage Taker because uh, Hostage Taker is actually pretty decent in this format. And we can try to go some kind of Jund nonsense with some Dragon Boys. Those Dragon Boys are at it again. We can also take this Breeding Pool and go Soul Tie. You guys like Soul Tie? This is a Rat Ninja. This is an Elder Demon. Those are close to dragons, right? Jund is also not terrible, but then, like, we have a blue and a black card in our pool already, so mm, kind of not great. Whereas Coligon's Command, very, very good. So is Jace. What's the updated stipulation? Um, we're going to try dragons. Nope, that is not... This chat is having a really hard time copying and pasting. Meanwhile, like I'm losing picks over Thank here. You. I think we're just gonna go with the uh, the Jace here. Oh, treachery! All right, maybe we're just actually just blue light control. Like, there's no like, I, I hate getting four picks in with not a single dragon. I feel like it's really hard to predict. Five color progenitus seems good, and then we open the yeah, and then the progenitus comes around. Uh, I would definitely take Sarkons if they were here. Uh, we're not passing a Treachery, though, especially not fourth pick. That's pretty good. Uh, where are all the dragons? Trust, there might not be that many dragons. What if we replace dragon with something else? Because right now we're not really on any particular stipulation. Emrakul's good, but when you're blue-black, you really don't have that many ways to put it into play. You're looking for things like Channel, Through the Breach, Sneak Attack... Uh, how many dragons are really in the queue at the whole point? It was fairly open, but you had to keep in mind there might be... Okay, that's actually good to know then. All right, then we'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'm down if you are. That's good to know. All right. So you guys you, you guys in the YouTube comments heard it here. In all reality, how many dragons are really in the queue? That was the whole point of the, the stip. It was fairly open, but you had to keep in mind there might be a few big boys. Okay, done. Nailed it. Uh, in that case, we're taking Inferno Titan because we're probably going to be Grixis. Oh, then we get a Leovold. It's, it's awkward for everybody. Uh, is it Signet seems great here, though. We're just going to take the Is it Signet. This also has a dragon on it, so I can't even... That's great. It's got a dragon on it. Kiki Jiki has a dragon in it, which, uh, which Travis actually mentioned, but there's also an Ugin. So do we take the Kiki Jiki, which is very, very... Actually, Kiki Jiki is probably great here, right? Because we can just get the other... Um, we can get those the pieces for this guy. Uh, Ponder is great. I do like a Goblin Dark Dwellers. That is a solid card. Don't really have anything yet. I 
Oh, it's definitely not a punt. Travis actually mentioned that it has a dragon on the art. Like, that was one of the things that he mentioned in the stipulation when he originally submitted it. And the Thunder Maw Hellkite came back just like you do. Which we looked for in the very first. Uh, necromancy seems fine. Alright. Yeah, I'll take a Necromancy. I, I do like this Bloodbright Elf, but mm, not really. I guess we could be Teamer too, couldn't we? Is Bloodbraid Elf better than Shardless Agent? Probably. Yeah, I'll take a Bloodbraid Elf. Because now we're like 50-50 here. And now we have Coligon's Command, so we're leaning more towards black. Oh, there's also a dragon in the Coligon's Command art, so... That's pretty sweet. Uh, Lightning Grief seems good for, like, Inferno Titan. I feel like we're making it work. We're making magic. The Gathering. Terrastodon, sure. Alright, this first pack, not too bad. We got at least four dragon cards, right? Is it Signate, Kolagon's Command, Kiki Jiki, and Thundermile Hellkite? That's not too shabby. Oh, a Burberry? If they have dragons in their deck, that's, uh... Yeah, Bribery is probably the best card here. Signet is probably not, because black, either black or green is the color we're splashing, so it's either one or... It's probably going to be... It's probably going to be black, especially with the Coligon's Command and Bone Shredder. Um, but we'll take this Bribery for sure. Boros Signet. Creeping Tarpet seems great. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we're just going to take Creeping Tarpet. Seems good. Uh, I don't think Burst Lightning has anything in the art. I think it's literally just lightning hitting a, hitting a, a rock. Seems fine. Azorius Signet. Oh, Deceiver Exarch. We have a Kiki Jiki. That seems good. Do I see any? Then there's no dragons. There, there be no dragons in this pack. So I'm just gonna take uh, Jabated by Small Art. <laughs> Got him. Oh man, I like Demir Signet and I like Dac Dackles Faden. I think, so I'll always take a Jitte, and I'll usually always play a Jitte, but this is not a Jitte deck, and that is that is a thing, like, there are not Jitte decks, because we have, like, Jace, Bone Shredder, which we're going to have to pay double for. Um, if there weren't these cards in the pack, I'd probably take Jitte, but I think, I, is it just mere it can't be Demir Signet with deck, with, uh, with all the Moxes, and it's got to be deck Faden, right? I like Phantasmal Image. Bedevil is double black, and black is our splash. So I'm not too thrilled about that. We got demons, inspectors, and golems, but that's about it. I think we're just taking Phantasmal Image. That card's still good. Image is... This actually is a dragon. That's a good point. Wandering Fumeral is nice, especially when our only other land is Creeping Tar Pit. And there's nothing in here that's dragon dragon-esque. Oh, Badlands, fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, I might have actually been getting too excited there. Uh, Badlands is pretty good for our deck. I'll take the Badlands. Sorry, guys. I felt like I got a little too, uh, a little too, a little too emotional there. I apologize. Ravenous Chupacabra. I do like Chupacabra a lot, but I think it's double black. Well, we did just pick up a Badlands, so maybe we can just try to... It's it's not Bonfire, and it's not Baird. Yeah, we're just going to take Chupacabra. 
Ooh, zealous conscripts with the kiki jiggy. Kiki jiggy. Okay, sounds good. This is a snake, so it's not really a dragon. They're close, but eh, it's not really the same. Our five drops are looking juicy, uh, despite the fact that we don't have. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say there. The, the point is they're looking good. Uh, fire Ice is great. You're a beast. You're not a dragon. So I'm okay with that. Hopefully that Mutavolt dragon will wheel. That would, yeah, that's something right there. Um, take this guy. Pyroclasm seems fine. Unfortunately, as you guys might have noticed, the Demir Signet did not. The, 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 this dragon did come back. Someone's going to go last pick stone. Wow, Flame Tongue Kavu is fantastic. Someone's going to go last pick Stoneforge Mystic. Scalding Tarn is definitely the pick here, especially when there's no real dragons in this pack. I hope this, I hope, I think I hope this Doretti comes back, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty on board with Scalding Tarn. Hopefully we can get, because this gets Badlands and it gets Island right now. And someone just casually passes you a Mox Emerald, which is pretty cool. That's pretty nice. It's not our color, but it's... It's still very good. Oh, there's a steam vents in here too. Oh, biscuits. I mean, I'm not gonna take a steam vents over a mox. Sorry. Sorry. The nice thing about the cons of Tark here set is that there's tons of dragons on just the card art. So if you ever see any cons cards, it's it's likely that there could be a dragon somewhere. Tassiger, unfortunately, no. I think it's just Remand here. I like Remand a lot. Nothing else on color here. Yo, can a dude get more than one legit dragon in his dragon deck? Or is off Signet? Could be decent. We watched John Wick 3 last night. I'm going to use my two-year sub perk and use Naughty Words. That movie was effing amazing. It was the best of the three. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go see John Wick this week sometime. Oh, Sheldock Isle seems good, though, right? Yeah, let's just take Sheldock Isle. <gasps> oh, there's a Dragon Lord target, but there's also Volcanic Island. I'm going to use my one veto here to take this Volcanic Island. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because we don't even have any green to, to really... If it was white, I might actually take it because we have Boros Signet and we also... Oh, we do have a Mox Emerald, I guess. <laughs> you can cast it. It might even come back. Felipe's cooking in the kitchen and it smells real good. It smells friggin' amazing, dude. Yeah, you're allowed one veto per pack. Doesn't it say that any card that has a dragon on it you have to draft? You get one veto per pack, you can't take power and lands over you can you can take power and lands over any card. So it actually doesn't even have to be a veto, because it's actually allowed in the stip. But I'm like checking the backgrounds on things. I'm like, you got a any dragons back here? No? How about this one? No? Okay. It's probably just Gruel Signet. Maybe. Is Yawgmoth's Will ever good outside of Storm? I think so. If you can cast like two things off of Yawgmoth's Will, it's probably pretty good. We might just want the Mizium Orders because you don't have much removal, I don't think. Let's start removal like this guy. Maybe this. I guess we have a lot of four mana creatures that kill things. It's probably Mizium Orders, right? I want to take the Museum Mortars. It's kind of like a dragon. That's a dinosaur. It's kind of like a dragon. Him to Torok, we are not that heavy black. I like Manic Vandal. I also like Worm Coil Engine. Manic Vandal, I think, is just main deckable in this format. Especially with Dak Faden. Like, you just kill so many things with Manic Vandal. I'm going to take the Manic Vandal. I think our top end is actually just fine. Bitter Blossom is very good. Glintsleaf Siphoner has been a card I've been uh, pleasantly surprised with. Usually you can draw at least one or two cards off of it. Does Bitter Blossom combo with anything? Do we have anything that's like sacrifice a creature? I don't think so.
Oh, the Doretti came back. This is kind of like a drag. <laughs> it's not. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one artifact with with Defender, and then you may sack an artifact to destroy an artifact or a creature. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Doretti. I think Doretti is pretty pretty versatile. This Chandra came back? Wow. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, we could have taken Imperial Recruiter. I'm just in the vintage queue, I'm never really impressed with vintage uh with Imperial Recruiter because it takes a lot of you give them a lot of time. Like you'll play Kiki Jiki to go get Imperial Recruiter. Then you'll play Imperial Recruiter. Or you play Imperial Recruiter to copy Kiki Jiki. Yeah, it's just, it takes a lot. It just takes a, it's, I feel like it takes a lot of work to get that going. Alright, we're gonna take a braid. Uh it's a dinosaur. Just take Wrath of God, I guess. Oh, the Gruel Signet came back. For all the good that does. Oh wow. Finale of uh, devastation, sure. Alright, this turned out alright. We could technically splash the Bloodbraid Elf off of the uh, Gruel Signet and the Mox Emerald. All of our lands are good. Probably not playing Mutant Vault. Alright, don't care about Tassiker. Jay's Smith has a remand. Glint Sleeve of Braid. Missy Mortars. I don't know if I care about Glint Sleeve Siphoner here. It just feels like it takes... What I was saying is it feels like it takes a while to get going. Like, you get key, like if you're going for Kiki Jiki first and then you get Imperial Recruiter... Uh, I guess you can't get Imperial... Like, you... You play Imperial Recruiter, you get Kiki Jiki, you play Kiki Jiki, you copy the Imperial Recruiter. I guess it's not, it's not terribly long, but, like... I've been unimpressed with playing just Imperial Recruiter by himself in this format because you're like, all right, three mana, one, one, go. And it doesn't do a ton. We're definitely getting rid of Boros Signet. Team J, bro, what's going on, my dude? Raid right away. Now that we have Doretti and Dak, I don't know if we need Manic Vandal in the main deck, which I think is fine. Yo, I'm going to raid you. Get your raid on. Do, 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 do. I think we can probably cut Chupacabra to make our mana a little easier. Because we already have Flames on Kavu Hostage Taker. So I'm good with that. I'm down. I also need a haircut. Should I get a haircut this week, guys? I think the answer is yes. Did you just say raid on? Yeah, get your raid on. <laughs> Did you just say... I'm going to take Glenn Sleep Siphoner out for the same... Actually, I'm going to take Bone Shredder out. I hate the non-black, non-artifact clause. Blood, I like Bloodbraid Elf, but the problem is we have a lot of removal. Like, we have, like, a Braid or Mizium Mortars, uh, Remand. A lot of cards that like, just could whiff, which I'm not super thrilled with. Uh, I have not watched Chernobyl. I might actually watch an episode tonight, because that seems good. Uh, but I think we're good like this, so. I wish Blood Ralph was five mana, not four. Why so? Uh, we're probably just gonna go one, one mountain here, or one, uh, one swamp, because we have Badlands, Tar Pit, Scalding Tarn, and it's four sources of black. Eh, actually, probably not too black. Red, we have one, two, three, four. Just, oh man, that that Jaber ready mode is is gas. <laughs> oh man, <coughs> what's going on, everybody? Welcome, uh, welcome over from Jaber's stream. That is a good dude. All right, so let's, let's configure this manifest. So one, two, three, four. This is eight red sources. I'd like to go to nine. And blue, we have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go to eight here. I think that's probably better. It's eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five black for like three black cards. Four black cards, sure. 15 lands, two moxes. I'm in. Yeah, we do have these two. Uh, I'm not super concerned with the black. This is why we took Chupacabra out because it just kind of messes up the mana base. However, I think Glint Sleeve Siphoner is probably worth it. 
Like, if you can draw, like, one card off this, it's obviously worth it. If you can draw two cards, it's just great. Ten, this deck looks awesome. So, oh three, here we come. That is just how magic works, bits. <laughs> Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, that is uh, that is how it works, guys. I might get real emotional and real salty and and real mad. Are you guys ready for me to get super mad? I'm gonna get so mad, so mad. I get so angry that I break things and physically destroy properties. So angry. Or I just get a little upset and then I move on after about 16 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. So we could have braided this. I think we're just going to siphon her here. If we can draw a blue source. Or any any mana because of Dered. Yeah, I guess I don't want to sacrifice an artifact. Uh, I would like to uh, steal that Azorius Signet. I can have that Azorius Signet. Don't play Hero Blade Hold. Oh, I want to take that even more. Okay, I guess I don't get that option. Are you tired of being nice? Wouldn't you like to go ape shit? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to go ape shit every now and then? If so, you know, do the thing. Do the thing. What is this, Baneslayer Angel? Mole Drifter? That's fine. I accept. There's got to be a blue in these top two cards, right? Come on. What are the odds of not being a blue? Danny DB, have a great night, buddy. Oh, I found it. Oh, and I got a Mox Emerald? That's nice. That is nice. Oh, that's great. Um, we can play this guy. He goes up to four. He makes a one one. I could just steal this, but then Dak Faden dies. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this thing. Well, we have reached the one card threshold for Glint Sleeve Siphoner, which is super nice. Soup or nice. Yeah, I heard I heard someone say like on Facebook that Chernobyl is one of the most terrifying shows they've ever seen. Oh. Well that's well that's just that's something, alright. Huh. <sighs> that is fascinating. We're just going to play this guy. Make a little blocky boy. Block a ruski. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana, huh? If they can kill this, they can kill this. Oh, look, they did. Good for them. Good for them. So long, Doretti. Oh, Fracture Identity on this Flame Tongue Kava was surprisingly effective. a good hit so what we can do is play Dackles McFadens they have two cards in hand I think I counter this a cryptic command you don't you could you don't wow days <laughs> that's something uh, isn't that special 
I'm so mad. Oh. Hey, red source. Oh, we're really close. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to play Inferno Titan here. What you going to do about that? What you gonna do about that? Oh, you're gonna path this? Alright. Beautiful. So next turn we just get to win with these two. With these two jabronis. This is a non-emotion area. My bad. That's my bad. And now we're gonna go one, two, three. Play a Deceiver Exarch. Oh, we should have waited for this to resolve. We messed up. We're bad at this game. Uh, bleh. Now we gotta hit a red source. Oh, we just messed it up. We're so bad. So bad. It's okay. We're just gonna draw a red source. It's fine. It's gonna be Wandering Fumarole. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Well, that's just funny. That's just funny. So now we have to play... We actually want to play Sigma now because... Um, that was just a mess up, man. I should have let it resolved. It's alright. We're good. We're good. Magic's hard, man. One, two, three, four. We can play Chandra and then plus and Kikijiki. Just make sure we get all the... Because like, if they want to counter something, I'd rather them counter the Chandra. Oh. See, that's great. See, that's great. We're just sitting here with a Deceiver Exarch on board and a Kiki Jiki in hand. See, if we played this, would have countered it. Would have mana leaked it. See, but now. Now we got. They're just choosing. They're like just. They're like randomly tapping things. Uh oh, what are you doing? Hostage taker. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just add. Let's do one of these jobbies. One, two, three, four, five. Keekums. Mickums, Jeekums. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got mana tithe? Don't do it. Oh, it resolves. Okay. I'm going to target this guy. Oh, they're going to do it. Don't say you're not going to do it. So they have Path and Swords. That's pretty good. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll tap down this. Doesn't matter. So they had it all at all the points. So that's unfortunate, but... I mean, we're still doing pretty well. We got a Chandra on six and three creatures. Oh, Keekums, McJeekums. You had a... Oh, that's pretty good. I oh, you only get a Worn Power Stone back. Who's even got the time for that? Be something good! Oh, you're going to tap a land down again? Okay. <clears throat> Land. It's gonna be a oh. Thank you. Oh, that's a good choice. Let's see what we got. Mortino, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. Well, they have no cards in hand. We could return Glint Sleeve and deal them two. 
Can we win here? How do we win here? Can put them to six. We're definitely getting Sun Titan back. Then getting Dak back and stealing their worn power stone. So I don't even want to kill that. We can also just get Duretti back instead. We can kill worn power stone, deal them two. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna play this. Yeah, this is fine, right? Or we can just not play it, save the mana. Or one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, seven. Yeah, we only have seven mana. So we're one mana shy of like uh copying the hostage taker and then casting the Sun Titan. Yeah, we might as well cast it, right? Uh, return a creature from your graveyard and deal two uh, return a creature from your graveyard yes so I'll choose Glen Sleeve deal you two and then this we'll use this the black we'll play phantasmal image copy sun titan get back Dak. Actually, we should have gotten back to ready and killed it, but I guess we can just do that next turn. Gain control of this. Play this. That seems fine. This guy doesn't have vigilance. And there's actually no other permanents they can get back here, so they're in top deck mode. All right. <clears throat> this almost seems like a Manic Vandal. Like, where I just want to, like, I don't know. Just, like, we have Manic Vandal, Dak Fade, and Duretti, Kolagon's Command, and a Braid in the main deck to deal with artifacts. It's pretty nuts. And Hostage Taker. That's actually, like, a lot of main deck artifact removal. Maybe we don't need Manic Vandal. The thing about, I like about Manic Vandal is it just stays on the board. It just hangs out. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Just read your article. Great stuff. It was great to hear your voice through writing as well as Twitch. I will with the sniper. Thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out coolstuffinc.com. You can find an article uh, every Wednesday. This week, this past week, I talked about uh, Ilharg the Razebore in a pretty sweet standard deck that we actually tested on Arena, which did pretty well. So definitely check that out. And if you use promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off your purchase. Do they have Mana Tithe? Are we afraid of a Mana Tithe? No. We are afraid of a path, though. I guess they're not afraid of it. We're just, uh... Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna play this. Actually, I guess we Duretti here, right? Oh, and then they daze us. That seems worse. We can wait. We can wait a turn, right? Probably want Volcanic Island over Badlands, right? They're both red. <clears throat> yeah, I think we want Volcanic Island. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. We can play to ready next turn. <clears throat> Boy, I, 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 I. this is great because next turn we play Duretti and it actually gives them uh, it, it it makes it so they almost can't cast Coalition Relic because we'll have the one one. We're not going to play Gruel Signet though because it doesn't play around. 
days the same way Doretti does here. <clears throat> Let me ask you guys something. I write articles every week for cool stuff every Wednesday. And would you guys be interested in an audio component for the article? Like if I wrote the article and then you know how some, uh, some sites, they have an, an, an audio version of the article that you can just listen to. Like it's the article, it's basically an audio article. Like it's an audio book, but it's an audio, audio article, right? So it's so I, like I would read the article. And if you guys are in your car, you can listen to it that way or what have you. Is that something that would be used? <clears throat> because I don't I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere, but it's something that I've always liked in regular articles. So like I could I could open like a SoundCloud uh account and just upload my like spoken articles. I'd have to talk to cool stuff and see if they would be interested in something like that. Also we could link it in the actual article as well. Um Well, just reading the article and recording that is not a ton of work, right? I mean, this is actually where... Can we also get audio of Mike reading them in his British accents? Accents plural? I think he just has the one. I think he just has the one Cockney Chicken Sunday accent. Every day is Chicken Sunday. If you're down, I'm down. Perfect. Yeah, I'll send them an email tonight and I'll be like, what do you guys think of this? What if I do... Nope, don't do that. All right, so... this guy tap I'll tap this because if you have it doesn't play around path but it does play around oh, you you old salty dog you <clears throat> it plays around swords or it plays around unexpectedly absent which is what we're going for but that's fine sometimes you get your little key comes mixing comes one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're still playing around uh, days here, which is super nice. Get a load of this chonky boy. Oh, chonky boy. I would love to make a, a living recording books on tape, but I don't know how you break into a field like that. Okay, I'm gonna Mizium, I'm gonna Miki McKeekums. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? I would like to cast my Kikums McJikums. Oh, this is desperation right here, my dude. Oh, I'm gonna look. Cause I think you're literal dead to Exaxes with two Inferno Titans, not even pumping. That would be six, six, three, and three guys, and I don't I'm no math expert, but they get a turn if they found unexpectedly absent, because this would put it directly on top. The last game they're like non land permanence would be great right about now. Uh, I feel like they may have they may have jinxed themselves. These guys seem way too aggressive. Like with these blades on their hand, these guys do not seem defensive at all. Okay, unexpectedly absent. Sounds good. Back on top. Do 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 do. All right, we're just gonna pass here. I guess we'll try to win next time. Six plus six plus three plus three equals two sweat two sweating cats. 
Oh, that's... Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. <clears throat> you can't win them all, guys. You can only win some of them. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't these guys have... Can someone explain to me why these guys have Defender? I don't understand. I would like to kill this, but then they just draw it. I guess that's not bad. Sometimes it just be like that. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. How many Inferno Titans is too many Inferno Titans, guys? Alright, so... We are going to pump... A lot. She went from rum to whiskey. She was the best thing. Best thing that you ever... We're going to do it like this because I don't want to... Again, I don't want to... I don't want to run into... Ye old, uh. We're gonna just run Phantasmal out here. Like, if they have, like, a Wrath of God effect, they're gonna be able to kill all our board anyway, so we're not even gonna have much use for this. But it does put them to dose. We could have put them to one, actually. And we didn't activate our already. That was pretty bad. That was just. 34 Renaissance in cube, I guess it's Inferno. Yeah, it's 32. It's 34 Infernal Titans. Infernal Inferno Titans. This is where they go red mana, zealous conscripts. No, that doesn't do it, right? What is this? Oh, that's real good. That's uncomfortably good. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's fine. Nope, no blockers. Wow, are we going to put them to two and then die? Hmm. Seems like it. Rolling backwards. Why don't these, why do these guys have Defender again? I forgot. What was the reason? I'm going to get rid of this Gruul Signet. I don't really need it at this juncture. I mean, we have Kolagon's Command, we have Fire Ice, um, we have Thunder Mile Hellkite. We actually have quite a few cards that just Windmill Slam. That seems like a good one. One, two, three, four, five. So what we can do, one, two, three, four, we can actually Zealous Conscript one token, Mizium Orders another token, Duretti another token, right? One, two, three, four, five. She was the best thing, best thing that you ever had. You gonna counter this? My man. Oh. Well. I mean, alternatively, we can Elspeth plus plus their Elspeth to get three tokens that can attack. Next turn, we can Mizium Mortars, and then we have just a 
pretty solid board here. Thank you. Varnak, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. So we steal one, right? That's what we're doing. Give me this token. Give me the token. Let's see if you got the days. You got one card in hand. You might have been playing. I mean, like, we gave you a way to play around days the whole game, so. Mm. Rather, we gave them a way to hold days. Uh, we played around it the whole game, which means that this one turn we're not playing around it gives them a really good opening to use it. Are you going to Gen Con? Not to my knowledge. Was it days on top? That'd be hilarious. Manalik. It's probably Manalik. Well, no, because they could have counted the Zealous Conscripts if it was Manalik. It is days. It seems good. Nope. Won't do. Not doing that. So they have to block here, they take one. <clears throat> yeah, that was rough. Where's the little man? I don't even know. Somewhere. Do we just put them to one? One is really no different than two, but we get to keep the creature. <sighs> Boy, they're gonna draw top. Yeah, I don't think the one makes a difference here. I'd rather just attack Elspeth and keep the one one. Oh, well, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Your hand is Days Vendillion Click. Seems good. Seems good. Hold on. I have to get really salty now, guys, because that's what I do. I get really salty. I can be like, you piece of garbage. You're so lucky. Right? Isn't that what I'm, isn't that what's supposed to happen? Vanessa Mike asks if you like the Gancitos, literally little goose. It's a candy from them. I have never even heard of that actually. I don't. I don't know that. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is our opening. Didn't we didn't have it there. This this is some stabilization here, guys. <laughs> oh man. It's it's funny because um the biggest correlation of people who complain about me getting like emotional or me defending people. If I'm ever defending someone, like if I'm defending someone who says something shitty against women or minorities or the LGBTQ community, if I'm ever defending those people, the people who complain about it the most uh, have the largest um, concentration of misspellings and poor grammar. And, you know, ordinarily, I don't think that says anything. But in this situation, eh, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, we got like two draws, maybe. What does our Planeswalker do? Uh, plus one, you make a 1-1 one, one with Defender. Negative one, you can sacrifice an artifact to destroy an artifact or a creature. And negative six is you choose an artifact in any graveyard and then you make three to three copies of it. It's fire. Treachery. Wow, that's actually terrible on this particular board. That is fascinatingly bad. They only tell two races apart, Indianapolis and Daytona. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. Travis, you do you do misspell a ton of things, but your heart is also in the right place. So it's, who cares? You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, pl plus one to make a 1-1 one, one defender versus plus one to make three 1-1 one, one non-defenders. Uh, we're just going to hold the treachery because 
Come on. We have so many live draws here. I think it's like probably two, maybe three. I know it's Fire and Ice, and it's Colgon's Command. I can't recall what else is in our deck. Flamethon Kavu only hits Creechy Boys. She was the best thing. Yeah, we'll just block. Well, I think they have. This is a Sun Titan opponent, right? So we're just going to block here. This is still game. This is still match one. Man, this is taking a while. You ready? Nailed it. That was actually a really good draw. Just kidding. It was a terrible draw. Yeah, once they have... This is so sad that they're at two. I feel like we, we do definitely... We definitely... Uh, I feel like we definitely... Uh, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. We don't know what... What is he saying? I don't know what he's saying. Oh, boy. So, you know, we have Path. You know, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I mean, one of them was also a Signet, so I consider that a Mana Source. I like that they're topping... And then they just like get their top back with uh, with search for Conta. That's kind of funny. It was the best thing, best thing that you ever had. Do you have any allergies? Uh, I have no allergies actually. I am allergic to nothing. So another hand is Path, Gideon, something else, right? Are they keeping Cryptic Command up? Because not playing Gideon seems interesting to me. Well, I guess we're going to play around all the things. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we got. I'm ready for the Cryptic Command. Choose your modes. She <laughs> like bees? Surprise Pikachu face. That's solid. That's a solid uh solid progression there. Alright, that's good because it says I don't immediately have a way to deal with this. So Oh my god, are you gonna mana leak it? Are you gonna Oh man, and now we're as containg. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. What are you picking? Oh, did we whiff? Oh boy. I think this is resolving, guys. Oh no. Uh, oh. Okay, we're we're topping again. Feeling good about it. Oh boy. Are we getting a Sun Titan? Nope, we are okay. You have one blue. Okay, are you getting a force of will? Are you getting a creature that that you don't want me to have? I mean Muldrifter is pretty good, so I think you just I think you just drew a Sun Titan, which is pretty sad, but I'm just gonna take a Muldrifter. And try to just kill you with whatever I draw. Come on, two cards. Two lands. Oh my god! I never thought I'd see the day. That's amazing. That's incredible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana sources. Mull Drifter, 2 basics. Seems good. Guys, I bounced my head off my desk for you. I appreciate that. Sun Titan. Yep, there it is. They're going to get V-Click back, which is totally fine. They're going to choose our Treachery. Which gives us a good, a good chance of uh. They have to take this because we can take Vendillion Click, but they have Path, so maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe they take nothing. 
They took nothing. S smart, smart choice. Smart choice. This is a lot of things. We have like one draw step here. That's cool. That was it. That was the one we were looking for. Frank Latube. 300 seems good bits. Nice. Nice. Alright, so what we can do is steal this guy. They will path this one because they have to. And then we'll just die to all the things on the board. They have path in hand, right? Like, I'm not. They, they hit this off Spellseeker like 20 turns ago, right? I guess we'll find out. They know we have this, so it's not really hurting us to just play it. <clears throat> oh, this one. And I'm actually looking forward to getting this land because... And path. All right. Oof. Well, they had no artifacts in play, so that's good to know. Oh my god, next card, Thundermon Hellkite. Come on. Come on. Deck seems fine. I don't actually have an issue with any of the cards that are in it. I mean, we have Jace to draw cards. Bribery seems good if they don't have... If they don't literally manage to sneak out their Sun Titan, which they did. It happened. It had to be on, like, the top three cards. Oh, wow. This hand is great if we had one more land. One land, I should say. Yeah, this is whatever. Um, Yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, actually, it's, it doesn't matter. We're going to lead with this, so... That's sad. I mean, we've got a remand. This hand's not great. Good game. Get salty. Uh, we'll put a treachery under there. I think that's probably the strongest card. I wish we had... Uh, I wish we were able to just draw that Glensleeve Cypher. I think it's actually very good in this matchup. But the alternative is playing Swamp, drawing Glensleeve, and not being able to play it until turn three. So that seems worse. Arnold Schwarzenegger got attacked in South Africa. This is not an ideal use of man of remand, but I really need to hit lands here. Like if we can get a, a red source and then Alright. That is a thing. And no land. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna get upset because people should not get upset when they're playing a game. And they're losing to variants. That's not it's not a human reaction, so I'm gonna not do that. Red source? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, eat shit, Magic Online. Eat shit. Oh Lord. So this is probably where they go Sun Titan or Elspeth, right? That would be my guess. Serenity now. And Elspeth. Okay. So we're in a good position where we're actually able to uh, predict all of our opponent's plays. Yep, if we're able to kill this. If this was last turn, we'd be able to get rid of this so they couldn't play this immediately. Um, really no no real recourse for this, unfortunately. Duretti does nothing. Hostage Taker does nothing. Kolagon's Command does nothing. A Braid does nothing. Okay. Well, it is a red source. It is a red source. I suppose that much is true. No, that's not. Well, that's not what we wanted. Uh, black, blue. I guess we'll hostage take her here and steal worn power stone. Oh, 
Easy block. Easy block. Oh, I'm surprised that resolved. I did not think that was going to resolve. What other counter spells did we see? We saw Daze. I think we saw Mana Leak, but... I mean, the deck has Swords to Plowshares, Unexpectedly Absent, and Path to Exile, so I'm not, like, super convinced that uh, an Inferno Titan by itself is actually going to do anything, to be honest. I think our best bet is to survive. What? Doesn't that the same as just letting it resolve? A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Actually, I don't care about this. We're just going to 3 at Elspeth because uh, if they want a negative Elspeth to kill a big fat creature, uh, I want them to be able to uh, want them to have to lose their Elspeth to do it. And Inferno Titan has died. Oh, they're going to get rid of... Sure, that's pretty good. Uh, let's get a mountain. Oh, this is negative three, not negative four. Oh, that's bad. Oh, we can still kill with Kolagon's command, though, I guess. Uh, we have to play Duretti first to kill the lady. Who's that lady? Glenelandra Archmage. Yep, all oh, this is fine. Oh, Dak Faden seems real good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are one shy. That's really sad. Play this first. It lets us kill this. We can steal the Coalition Relic. They have to counter this, which means we play... I guess we call it Guns Command first, right? Wow, that's annoying. This is a real have it all situation. <laughs> oh boy. That's brutal. Yep, and that's gone. I mean, there's no there's no situation where they don't tap this in response to us taking it. Wow, spell cooler is amazingly like. I mean, if they counter the Duretti, cool. If not, we get the Sacral Signet, kill the Glenelg Archmage, and be sure to resolve one of the other spells. But 
That was pretty brutal. Man, after game one, I felt really good about this match, but uh, apparently the odds are, were not ever in our favor. I mean, it's funny, because even if we call a Gon's Command to kill the Elspeth, like... What's our follow-up then when they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 creatures on board? I mean, I guess we could hope to draw... Do they just... Huh. Evoke Muldrifter, not just cast Muldrifter. That's fascinating. I mean, we can hope for, like, Mizium Orders. Mizium Orders would actually be phenomenal here if they don't actually have a counter spell. Because then we get to Mizium Orders and then a kill Elspeth as well. But that seems pretty ambitious. Not dead yet. So block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we are dead. <laughs> so I was like, oh, Deceiver X arc. That's a good one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can Deceiver X. We can Colagon's Command to get back Inferno Titan and then not cast it, which is pretty good. Um, we can tap, untap a land to have six mana. Colagon's Command and then not cast it. We can destroy this and kill Elspeth and then die. I'm going to concede. Seems good. I did not see the Pokemon movie. I heard good things about it, though. Yeah, the sand seems keepable. Keep keepable. I hope I'll be as attractive as you when I get old too. Wow. <laughs> well, I, I wish for the best, buddy. I wish for the best. Did you play or watch Pokemon? Um, I watched Pokemon very consistently before uh, every morning before high school. Um, but I ha I'll be honest with you, I've never actually finished a Pokemon game. I've played them. I've never finished one, though. And I remember playing the games after watching the show, and I was really upset that there was no, like... I think there was a game called, like, Pokemon Stadium, where you actually had, like, 3D renders of the Pokemon fighting one another. And I was actually really upset that that wasn't more common, if that makes sense. Like, there wasn't uh, more of that. Uh, I'm gonna get a second black source, and then we're gonna Doretti, Mom's spaghetti, Palms, sweaty. I'm actually like 22, so yeah, I'm pretty young. I was just I prematurely my hair is pre prematurely grayed. I don't even know what a Battle Frontier world record is. But that sounds impressive. I'd be impressed. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? <laughs> okay, Dad? What does that even mean? Did you go from nice to mean? Why would you do that? I thought we were friends. Mao. Oh, Christ. <sighs> I'm about to bust. All right, that's not that's not the worst. That's not the worst. What else you got? Arcane Artisan, sure. All right. Oh, that's all you got? Yeah, so that's what you're channeling for? Oh, yeah, we did it. Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's
That's a thick ass bar. Damn. That's what I was hoping for. I'm like, we can just draw a Deceiver Exarch, tap that dude down for a turn, and call it a day. And that's what we're going to try to do. They're playing blue green. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. They can stop it. They'll stop it. They'll counter it. You ready? They're going to counter it. All right. We are going to get dazed so hard. Day so hard, warm coal engines want to find me. I'm gonna tap this fat, fat bottom boy. Mow. Hey guys, what sounds a little man make? Buddy, you know what time it is. Oh, they didn't have an answer. Keekums, McJeekums. Um, so what do we see? We saw Arcane Artisan Channel. That's a good card. And Worm Coil Engine. And Sylvan Carry Added. Those are the cards we saw. Again, I could bring Manic Vandal in, but like we have a Braid, we have Colagon's Command, we have Duretti, we have Dak Faden, and we have Hostage Taker to deal with big fat idiot artifacts. So I'm not super concerned with it. So I'm just gonna, gonna follow through. Feed that cat. He's a little chonky boy. This hand's very good. All right, well, I'm game. I am game. No, oh, Frag Magic the Gathering is game. Uh, we could also uh, play turn two Singed and turn three Chandra, depending on what they do. But if they're just going to channel here, oh god, I need to stop whatever happens. That whatever that guy's doing, it needs to be. I need to put the kibosh on it. Yeah, next turn we can go double Signet, which I think is fine, or we can go Fumarole into single Signet. What a nice opponent. I would have made you make the tokens. Hopefully they don't make us make the tokens. Wow. Sammy, what an emotional roller coaster. Oh, wow. An attack with a Rafellos. That's unexpected. No, 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 no. Wait, that guy can attack? <laughs> Why doesn't he have Defender? God, they really messed up with this guy, didn't they? Um, well, what are our options here? We can go... Basic land, Signet. Yeah, I think we're doing that. We're going to go land... Signet, other thing. Play this signet with the two red, and then we'll ponder. I mean, I'm gonna take the combo piece here. Oh, I guess I guess we get to, I guess we get to choose, don't we? We could kill this idiot, but I think we can easily remand whatever they have. I think we're gonna keep this. Um, you, you, you. Uh, no shuffles. No big shuffs. And then we, when we play the Chandra, we should be able to just get rid of the island, or the mountain, rather, because the next turn is going to be mountain time. Mountain time. Yeah, if they're just going to keep attacking with this guy, I'm just going to be like, whatever, my dude. I will likely kill him at the end of the turn, though. And that would be now. Goodbye. 
And now we don't got to worry about that guy anymore. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Shandaria. We know what we're going to draw. We'll get rid of this mountain. And we are firmly in the driver's seat, as they say, on every magic stream ever. Every magic coverage stream. You know what? I don't even care. I could steal that dude. I could phantasmal image that dude. Let's see what we hit here. It was another. It was a bad lands, the baddest of lands, if you, uh, if you will. What if we treachery that guy too? <laughs> On tap five, we just steal all his things, and now he has no way to get. I think that's actually pretty decent, to be quite honest. Oh man, this is bad for morale, I bet. We're only doing this because they have three mana and this gives them up to five mana. And I think just being able to... This is also drawing us six cards. So four of them are obviously going to be lands. Bird of Paradise. Mm-hmm. Get another island and another swampums. Draw a card, it's always a land. Well now I just feel bad. Uh let's play our land. Let's see what we hit here. Duretti. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. We can't keep up. Oh, I guess we just win the game. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Why isn't Frank... Well, you can't cast lands to begin with. You can play lands. You can cast spells. That is a, a sizable discrepancy uh, in Magic Online. In Magic in general, not just Magic Online. In all Magic. That's why if something says you may play that card or you may cast that card, it's a very different ability. Oh yeah, this hand's good. Because cast does not include lands. Play includes lands. Let's go Sheldock first. Let's play old Shelly. Oh, Kiki Jiki? Two moxes? Come on. That's just rude. There's a guy in Commander Versus that's like, I'll cast my Creeping Tarpet. I'd be like, oh, I'd cringe so hard every single time. Let's play this guy. Leading on basic mountain. I don't know what to make of it. I'll summon my creeping tarpet. Well, that's weird. Oh, all right. Now we got an electro, electro schmancer, if you will. Oh, why, why you got to do me like that? I kind of just want to kill this guy because I don't trust whatever shenanigans they're up to. Next turn we can go Sean, Sh Shandy. Shandy should make it pretty quick to get to Sheldock Isle mana, which is nice. There's nothing to cast it at. I want to cast it at the darkness. That's a that's a solid me. Let's briber you. Can we do that? This feels better than a, sh a peppermint sh a peppermint Shandy, right? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that is. Oh, torrential gear hulk. Mole Drifter, Imperial Recruiter, Hazaret, or Deceiver Exarch. Okay, okay. Well, this is a deck. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a gander. Don't care about Hazaret. Torrential Gearhulk has no targets, it's just a fat idiot. Which is good. Deceiver Exarch's nice if Kiki Jiki was not the one under there. Yeah, I think we're just gonna Mole Drifter here. Draw two? Okay. Oh man, the old Incinerate Mole Drifter. So we spent a bribery. We drew two cards and got an Incinerate and a Mole Drifter, so it was a four for one. It's pretty good. Oh, it's a Hell Rider. 
Oh, Hell Rider, keep on rolling, Mrs. I'm just going to play Inferno Titan and just smash this Hell Rider's face in. My God. Come on, guys. Let's get... Let's get smashy. I was going to play Chandra and do it, but then I was like, you know what? This is cleaner. This is elegant. I would imagine they have twin. Uh, the twin is not in the deck, neither is Kiki Jiki, so I imagine one of them is in their hand, yeah. I could also see them wanting to play Hellrider in order to play Kiki Jiki and copy the Hellrider, dealing what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a good amount of damage. So, this was their deck. Counterspell, Dig Through Time, Desperate Ritual, Chandra, Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze is interesting because this does not look like a Storm deck. Time Walk, that's pretty good. Also, Pyretic Ritual. Alright, so they drew a Desperate Ritual. Boop. And a Zealous Conscripts. Are we dead? 6, 79, 10, 11, 12. No, we're not dead. I'm going to go to 4. Not ideal. But now we just get to kill the Zealous Conscripts, so that's pretty cool. Um, is there anything we can do here? So, one, two, three, activate. Then we have three red. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can deal fifteen. That's a lot. That is a lot. I do want to keep up this and the tap. One, two, three, four, five. So we can. Yeah, I guess we're just going to play two things. Um. This seems fine. And being at four is a little scary. They're going to go untap char. And I'm just going to be like, sometimes you got it. I do not see a char in the deck. I see a lightning bolt in the deck. They also have a Chandra. Oh, we just win the game. Apparently, Inferno Titan, it's a hell of a card. Did not see any Manic Vandal targets, really. Pyroclasm is kind of meh. I mean, they have Hellrider. We saw Hellrider here. That's the only card I think we saw that was not in this list, right? So Hellrider, Torrential Gear, Hero, Gear, Gear Hulk, Muldrifter, and Pure Recruit has it. And the problem is Bone Shredder is probably not going to work on Deceiver Exarch because they're just going to kill us with it. It's not going to work on Hazaret, and it's not going to work on Gear Hulk. So we can kill an Impure Recruiter or a Mull Drifter with it. Considering they have Impure Recruiter, they might also have Kiki Jiki in hand. They did have Zealous Conscripts as well, so... I think we're actually fine. I can see bringing in Lightning Greaves so that they can't, like, take our Inferno Titan. But everything else, like, this guy has haste, this guy has haste, this guy has haste. Like, it's good for, like, Flame Tongue Kavu and, like, Hostage Taker. Well, that's not going to do. Unfortunate. That will do. I want to put this on the bottom. I don't know if it's particularly great here. We do need a black source. And I found that. Oh, let's go Bribbery here. Why does he call it Bribbery? Oh, you know. Yeah, Titans are actually still ridiculously strong. Even by today's standard, like, Titans have not gone down in power level at all. That's actually pretty good. Did that? Wait, do we see a Daze? I don't think so. Mana Le we saw Mana Leak and Counterspell, but they can't Counterspell, they can only Mana Leak, so... I'm not too concerned about having this mana leaked. Yeah, that seems fine. They would have had, they would have had to have days in their hand, which I did not see. All 
All right, well, this is where they can go to see Rex Ark into Splinter Twin. Do they have it? Fingers crossed, I guess. Oh, all right. Live to fight again. One time someone was ranting, ranting about power creep and MTG, so he made a giant body of lava and burned him alive. Now he's not complaining about power. Is that, uh, is that the ending of uh, that Star Wars movie? I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it's Phantom Menace. I don't actually know the names off the top of my head of the original, the prequels. Revenge of the Sith? Is that what it's called? The third one? The third one in the prequel? Our hand is great, but it requires it requires action here. Don't factor fiction. They didn't do anything again. This is crazy. Oh, Terminator 2 is one of the best action films of all time. Okay, well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Potentially seven mana, but I don't really care about that. I'm just waiting to die to uh, Deceiver Exarch EOT. <laughs> Our hand is so ridiculous. Oh, man. I guess theirs is equally ridiculous. I don't know. They don't have that many counterspells that we saw. They have a negate, a mana leak, and a counterspell. Those are the three that we saw. Joke's on you, though can't counterspell anything if I don't play anything. Really? Why don't I just cast that guy? Alright, we're getting closer to this to this bribery. It's pronounced bribery. It's true, it is pronounced bribery. You guys have to discard here? Also, if you guys are looking for a sweet deal on comfortable, comfortable clothing, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 25% off along with free shipping and free returns from MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check it out, guys. Check it out. It's uh, The link is in the description. I will then I'll draw two cards and discard two other different cards. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're getting rid of mountains here. I'm just going to play a Mox Sapphire here. You might ask why. You might be like, what's compelled you to do that to play this Mox Sapphire? And the reason is... I don't know. Record is 1-1 one, one currently. This is round thrice. Are you ready? Here comes uh, Deceiver Exarch. Got four cards in hand. Lightning bolt. Oh, lightning bolt on Dak Faden. Sure. Brain freeze for. Well, unfortunately, I messed up by casting this Mox. Apparently, twelve cards. Eh, sure. Most of these are lands. Oh no, a Deceiver Exarch. Let's see what we got. Show me what you got! Alright, so Torrential Gearhulk is in your hand. That's fascinating. Uh, I think we just take their Kiki Jiki. They have to actually top deck a Zealous Conscripts in order to kill us with that. 
Incinerate in the deck, Pyrotic Ritual, Time Walk, Time Twister. Ooh, that's fascinating. Yeah, they have... So we can see they have Leak in hand. We can compare these two. Leak. Gear Hulk in hand. Shut up and take my money. Relax and say one I love you, Buck. Love you too, buddy. Love you too, buddy. Chandra? They got Chandra in hand? They do have Chandra in hand, so they can just play their Chandra and kill it. So, I mean, that's whatever, right? Our deck is also alive, so... Yep, and there she is. Do we see Counterspell in the deck? They might have just Counterspell in their hand, too. Yep, that's fine. Because we could just Wandering Fumarole kill Chandra, which is nice. We didn't lose Kiki Jiki, we just lost what's his name. So let's target our. Oh, wait, can we. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're obviously going to target ourselves. Keekums, McJeekums, that is your name. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to play the Mox in order to cast Inferno Titan and not have it mana leaked. Shut up and take my money. Uh, Bolt they used. Um, that took five minutes, Buck. <laughs> Sammy, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, we're going to get rid of Flame Tongue Kavu because I don't think it has any targets. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We really just want to kill this, right? So I think we're going to keep Mox Emerald. And zealous conscripts and Kiki Jiki. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of flame tongue and hostage taker. We'll play Mox Emerald. And I guess we try to res wait one two three four five. We can't a also activate this. So if they counter this guy, I guess we can just attack with Kiki Jiki right at that point. Huh. I mean, we could just actually attack with Wandering Fumarole. Hope that res I mean, that we know that's going to resolve. God, I wish I remembered if we saw Counterspell. They do. We know they have Zealous Conscripts in the deck. In the deck. All right, we'll see if it's Counterspell or Mana Leak. If it's Counterspell, we can play around it and then try to win next turn with these guys. Yep, and it was a Counterspell. All right, well. Good to know. So we think they have Leak, a Gear Hulk, and something else, obviously, that we don't know about. Obviously, Gear Hulk is pretty good when you have Counterspell in the graveyard. Hmm. Our heart, I heard my ducks. Did you check? So what they can do, Wheel of Fortune, that's a yikes for me, dog. Oh boy, <laughs> that's pretty bad, uh, that's pretty bad. All right, well, that's game. Yeah, and then they can actually steal our deck, negative it to take one of these things. Yeah, we can't win with two cards left in our library. Welp. We had a good run there. Um, actually, I might just want Tassiger. Treachery seems pretty rough here, surprisingly. So does Flame Tongue Kavu. I kind of want the Bloodbraid Elf, to be quite honest. We have Gruul Signet and Mox Emerald, but that's pretty much it. Hitting a Remand is pretty bad, though. Hitting a Braid is also not great. Like, a Braid doesn't even seem that good here. 
I might just want the shoes. Give me them boots. All right, we'll, we'll give it a try. Mao. Also, if you guys are watching on Twitch, definitely uh, be sure to follow or subscribe. Both of those things are super helpful. And uh, they are great ways to support the stream. And I stream at least five to six days a week. So we're here having a good time pretty consistently. I'm going to keep this hand because of Ponder. So we can go turn one land, turn two Ponder, and find more lands. And you get access to the Sweet Subscriber Discord channel, which is a blast. So it's a super... Super sweet, super active Discord channel. All right. Is this good enough? I think we got to ship this, right? Because of one land, then it locks us into two cards that we don't want. Well, that was actually terrible. <laughs> oh, boy. This deck actually seems pretty decent. I just... Uh, I think we're getting a little, a little beat up here. Yep, that's good. That's that's nice. Maybe we should have kept it because then we could go go and sleep siphoner, si siphoner, siphoner. What are the odds of this guy resolving? Uh, there's zero. Well, they can resolve. It's just gonna die immediately. So. Here comes Deceiver Exarch. We didn't actually see Splinter Twin, so. They did Mulda 6. Maybe they don't have a fourth land, huh? Seven cards, no, no fourth land? Oh, the fourth land. Goodbye, Skull and Sleep Slifner. Oh. No. Something worse. I don't know what's happening. Time Twister? Because that'd be great for us. Okay, so you're going to have six mana. I don't remember seeing anything in your deck that was like super, a, a super stormy, so that, like, oh, well, that's interesting. Huh. Brain Freeze in response? Sure. 6, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 19 cards, so we go to 10 cards. We get seven in hand. I mean, I guess. It's not great, but... Okay. Lightning Bolt, Glint Sleeve, Siphoner? No. Well, Deceiver Exarch is in the trash can now. So is all his conscripts. <laughs> uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are five lands in the next nine cards. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yep, had a feeling you had that as well. All right, so. Looking like a 1-2 here, guys. Looking like a 1-2. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Girl Signet is tapped down. You have gotten it. Oh, because they get another turn, so now they can just play Kiki Jiki and kill us. I did forget about the time walk, ironically. And there you go. Congratulations. All right, we did it. Well, they did it. Either way, Travis, as always, Unease Joker, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we got to kill with no dragons, but we did kill with Kiki Jiki, and that guy's got a dragon in the art, so what can you do? Really appreciate it. 
Uh, and uh, thank you guys for hanging out. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check me out at Manitraders.com with the promo code and the link in the description. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.